Uh, so recently, Darkcoin, which is an alternate cryptocurrency, has been in the news quite a lot. Now, uh, Darkcoin claims to do some very interesting things. It's not just another Bitcoin clone. Darkcoin claims to provide much greater, nearly complete anonymity. What do I mean by this? Well, Bitcoin is a very public network. The history of every single Bitcoin transaction that has ever occurred is recorded in the official Bitcoin ledger. So if somebody knows one of your Bitcoin addresses, they will know every single financial transaction carried out with that address, which is an issue even if you're not involved in nefarious activities. I mean, you don't want people to know the history of your entire bank account, do you? Uh, Darkcoin claims to address these issues by building in automated scrambling of, of all financial transactions uh, carrying out through their system. So suppose I want to send you 1.5 dark coins, but I don't want anyone to know about it. Well, the system is going to have 10 dark coins go out through my account, from my account, and it's going to get distributed across the entire dark coin network, bouncing back and forth across multiple nodes. Eventually, your account is going to receive 1.5 dark coins from a seemingly anonymous source or a seemingly random address. And I'm going to get 8.5 dark coins sent back to my account from, from multiple addresses as well. So all I did was send you the 1.5 dark coins, but in a very direct way. So it's all scrambled. It's all anonymous. It's, it's all great. Uh, there is a problem, however. There is an issue. Uh, with enough computing power, like the sort of computing power held by, let's say, the NSA, it is possible to use network theory to, to crack and follow all the transactions. So, I mean, the transactions are scrambled, but they can be put back together like a shredded document with enough resources. Complete anonymity is not guaranteed, at least not guaranteed from large organizations such as uh, one controlled by various world governments.